Welcome back. It is the crack of dawn. And what goes better with the crack of dawn? Oh, God. Oh. I'll tell you what. A little bit of the morning mist. This right here, sun. Sunshine in a can right here. This. Oh. We'll put... Put a little hair on your chest and a little joy in your heart and a little extra <laughs> just a little uh <clears throat> we are hopefully whew, man i could use another couple hours of sleep honestly um we are going to hopefully today we're going to pull the fuel cell out of the love boat no fear I'm going to replace it I just need one now, and uh, I haven't ordered a replacement yet. I'm going to do that possibly today uh, or tomorrow or this weekend or whatever, um, but we need it now. It's going to go ahead and take the eight gallon out of there and put in here, hopefully, and my hope is is that uh, to get some, get the fuel line ran, and of course, I'm still waiting on my throttle bracket. Uh, but maybe we can pour some <clears throat> gas in the carburetor and, uh, you know, get it started or whatever, or piddle around. We got a, we've got a lot of things to piddle with as far as finish doing stuff with the dash and so got to do the fan relay, just a bunch of boring garbage, honestly. Um, but, uh, I would like to get the cell mounted, the pump mounted. Get some fuel line ran stuff. We got some other things that we got to do, like say with the other cars. Um, need to work on some a few little things. So just trying to bounce around, get a few things done. But um, yeah, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's too early to be doing intros for YouTube videos. Uh, all right, let me get to work. And we'll just call it that. But we got, after this seeps in, we'll be ready to go. Oh. Also like to point out, give a hat, give a salute. Give a salute to that Kimso pump that was in here. It has sat forever. And uh, it worked like a champ. I mean, you know, it looks a little... Crusty. And as far as fuel that was in the tank, there was only maybe half a gallon. Maybe, like I say, maybe half a gallon. And I dumped it out. There's probably still a third or a quarter of a gallon. You just can't really get it out, kind of. So I'm not going to say that affects the weight. But that pump, done a great job. Matter of fact, I'll probably just put it on the shelf somewhere. Um, anyway, let me get to work. It don't look very big, but I'm pretty sure this is eight gallons. So we got a, it's actually got a little bit, it's got a little bit of fuel in it. This is a little taller than our five gallon. I'm pretty sure that's eight gallons. I'm pretty sure I ordered eight gallon. Like I say, I think it's taller than the ones in the Mustangs. Maybe a little wider. Anyway, it's coming out and we're gonna use it in the van. That is how a pin on trunk is supposed to act. <laughs> uh, all right, let's get this unbolted. Oh yeah, we're saving that two, that, that half a gallon, quarter of a gallon. Look at us. Eh, it's worth it. Check out the fuel pump. Getting uh, bent up when we, the bracket moving when we unload and unload the car off the trailer. See that trailer life. Lincoln wasn't made for trailer life. Lincoln was made to roam the wild. So, I'm, 
I, you know, I know it takes me a long time to get things done, guys. I'm aware. Trust me, I'm aware. But I can feel the juices for the love boat coming, getting ready. I just, I just want to get it running. Like I say, the van's kind of a, I say a quick and dirty and cheap uh, endeavor because I didn't have to really spend any, a lot of money um, for, I had literally everything just laying around and so far so good. I think the only thing I've bought is the throttle bracket and the TV linkage. And I've, I don't know, I've spent maybe $30 on that. I don't know, I have not spent much. But uh, everything else, I want to say I pretty much had laying around. So the ignition box from you guys, the, I had the tack, uh, I had the, uh, the fuel pump from you guys, the carburetor, the intake, I mean, just whatever. Anyway, man, there was more in there than I thought. Oh yeah, well shoot. You hear it still going? Pretty good. Um, let me uh, start unbolting this thing while it's still draining. This is way more line than we're gonna end up using, um, but just to kind of get a rough guesstimate, and we may end up putting, uh, we may end up putting um, a reg on it. We don't know. Uh, we may end up putting a small gauge on it. You know, well, we probably will do that. But anyway, this is just to give us a rough idea of our weight. Seventeen and a half. I also actually found a couple pieces of line that I had forgot under the van, and it's an even forty-three. So seventeen and a half, uh, forty-three. Someone do that math. That is twenty. Was that almost twenty-six? So, I mean, hey, between between that and the hood, we've lost. What have we lost? Like fifty pounds. Look at us. I'd also like to show you these hand puppet covers. Um, these might have been the ones that Kevin wore when we did the 351 pull. I can't verify that, but if you want, I can have him autograph a piece of paper of authenticity and send these to someone. There are two, a right puppet and a left puppet. So. You, and trust me, you can never, trust me, you can never trust the left puppet. We call him the stranger. Um, also, someone mentioned, hey, actually, it was Jason. I'm just going to put you on the spot. Have you cut out the ribbing in the van, you know, to lose weight? And um, the answer to that is no. I have not cut out the ribbing. Uh or, you know, took it out the roof supports. This thing kind of pops like a beer can. Um, and also for this side, we've got the slider door. So, you know, I don't really, listen, again, this thing's to have a good time in, just to screw around and hoon around and not, oh gosh, hey, we're a freaking race van. I mean, it is a drag van, but we're not trying to run sevens. <laughs> we're just, we're just, we're not here for a long time, but we're here for a good time. So that's what we're trying to do. Just have a good time. Um, look at that. We, I mean, some of you guys may remember, well, you may not remember because I didn't do it in the, in the channel, but we actually went to the junkyard and got that dog house, which weighs more that has a table built into it. I say weighs more. We don't run it when we're at the track. We go, we go buck wild. We run with no engine cover so we can make on the fly adjustments as we're going down the track. You see what I'm saying? We're all over it. We're gonna put something right here. I wonder how thick that is. Probably it's like the bed of a truck. It's probably actually pretty thick, so. Um, let me do some calculations here 
and uh, drill some holes. Got us a couple off-center uh, pilot holes or holes drilled. Of course, these do not line up perfectly because, you know, measuring, again, is not one of my things like math and fabrication and wiring. Um, and then we've got X marks the spot and we're gonna cut this section out. Now that's gonna put the cell in the grand scheme of things kind of like right there, which, you know, you're like, oh, your cargo space, you can't carry this. I, I can carry a lot more now than I could ever carry, ever carry before, um, you know, compared to a Mustang. Uh, but it puts the cell out of the way of anything under the truck. And that is the priority. I have in the past put stuff in where there's I've complicated things. <laughs> and I would like to not make it as com as complicated as I have in the past. So that's where it's going. Plus we gotta have room for, you know, there's frame rail and stuff in here. So for the fittings, blah, 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 blah. So I think this is gonna work. We're gonna make it work because we're cutting a hole or square. Safety first, I would also like you guys to acknowledge the Bandit Edition work outfit. Green is for the money, gold is for the honeys, and Bandit had both. He was a he was a legend and an out of work bum. <laughs> ah. <laughs> crooked as, as you could ever want so good on us I mean substandard is not just something we talk about okay we we are about it we don't just you know like oh yeah substandard we live it and we breathe it And neither one of these holes line up worth a flip. <laughs> but mostly because mostly because they're just off, but um, at least now <laughs> now we got something that we can work with. And uh We'll just drill new holes. That's what we like to do. We just drill multiple holes. I just look at it. Every hole you drill is weight loss. Just look at it like that, guys. So if you drill a hole and you're off, you just save weight. Just drill another hole. And you know what? Just keep drilling. Just keep drilling. Because ultimately, no one will ever know that this happened except for you and me. They'll never know. They'll just look in here and go, oh, man. And here's the deal. Like I said before, you're at the gas station. Pull up, get out, open this door, open this door, and pop the top on this and put a hose in there. People are like, what's that guy doing? It's like, hey, I got a race. Especially, oh, if there's a manual with pistol grip on, oh my gosh, dude. I mean, seriously, if I saw, if I saw this at the gas station with a pistol grip and a 302, I'd be like, man, how much you want for that thing? Seriously, I'll trade you my Mustang for it. I know. I know. I know. I'm a weirdo. <laughs> we are making it happen, Captain. Drank the last of our dew. And we are filling we are we're filling it. Yeah, we're filling it. It's uh it's in it. So we got three bolts in. That right there is secure. We could barrel roll this thing 23 times and this is not coming out. But we've only got three bolts in. And after witnessing what Eric did with his car, I mean, which is beautiful piece, considering he did it at home, he did it himself. That just goes to show, I don't want to say that if Eric could do it, anybody could do it, but Eric did it. And um, he's not no skilled <laughs> fabricator or laborer or, or works in a body shop or anything like that. He's just some dude that, like us, that beats around at home. Now, he obviously cares a whole lot more about cars and coffee than, say, I do. But um, he did a really nice job. And because he did that, we're going to put the fourth bolt in. 
We're going to lead by example, like Eric's doing. Now, we're not going to put a steering wheel in our van that looks like Dick, like he did. I mean, we've got a factory Ford E150 steering wheel. That's blue. Pretty sure it's blue. And it still looks better than that steering wheel he's got in his car because it looks like Dick. So, <clears throat> having said that, we're gonna put this fourth bolt in and we're not gonna do what Eric did with the TikTok Mustang and put an ugly steering wheel in our car. Um, and why do I call it the TikTok Mustang? It's because of this. There you go. Eric posted up a thing in our group text and car run, TikTok Kevin, you know, he's been talking, he's been laying that smack down like people lay down syrup on waffles at the Waffle House. Thick, you know what I mean? Thick and sticky and a little runny. But Kevin ain't gonna, Eric needs to be careful. You know what I mean? Kevin is the same guy that back in the day, don't get, don't get this version of Kevin confused with the old version of Kevin. Kevin back in the day when he had his Camaro, this back in the early mid nineties, I'm not saying this was super duper duper fast, but it was fast enough. He had his Camaro, bow tie headed 406 with not one but two stages of nitrous on it 150 150 and he didn't leave on no progressor or any of that stuff he left on the 150 and then he too soon it was too soon junior on the second one if you got in trouble so i mean it run like 650s or whatever like that so Kev, eric needs to be careful who he's messing with or he needs to be like the untouchables they put one of ours in a morgue we put one of theirs in the hospital what are you prepared to do so Kevin, theoretically, Eric pushes him too far. You don't, don't wake the dragon. You know what I mean? Don't poke the bear. Kevin will come, Kevin will come loose. You know what I mean? He'll be out there. He'll just say, you know what? I'm just going to order me, order me a sportsman fogger kit. And then we'll see what happens. I mean, they ain't even raced yet, but Eric been, he been, he's been poking. You gotta be careful, Eric. Careful. He'll just have to go sell 8 million donuts, put a nitrous kit. Now, what's he going to do then? Going to put a nitrous kit on his Mustang? I don't know. I don't know if Eric's that guy. Maybe he is. I don't know. Anyway, we're the guy that's going to drill a fourth hole. One, two, three, four. Now, somebody shut the door. Old scrap piece of aluminum we're going to bend and mount to a, the frame with a hole that's already there and then drill a couple holes and mount our fuel pump to it. Should be good. Got it run down, got our plate, got it grounded, got a piece of aluminum line. I uh, don't think we have, we don't quite have enough. I just got to see how far we got it going and then we'll run the power wire just along it, I guess, you know, for that safety hazard. Um, so I don't, you know, I just stuck it in here and tightened this up, so we'll see. And again, fortunate where I work, fittings. We got this from work, um, so got this piece of scrap from work, bolts from work. So I'm fortunate to have that. Uh, got the ring terminal for the ground from work. <laughs> I'm fortunate to have that. Not everybody does. So those are those would be trips to the hardware store and extra cost and whatnot. So but anyway, uh don't know how much how far we got. You can see the line way down there. So we might have enough to it's gonna get pretty close. And then we can either put uh we well, we can either get a union right here and run some more line or we can go rubber line up. We'll just, we'll have to figure it out. So anyway, it's lunchtime now though. We are at Fusakli's, but not all of us are Fusakli's eaters. <laughs> I eat it sometimes. <laughs> well, we had enough line to make it all the way up here and our carburetor will be right here. So uh, we'll, if we put a reg or something in, we can just kind of mount it on a little something another if we want to or make a something coming off of the bell housing bolt and have like the reg right here and line and line so uh or hmm, can maybe i don't know i'm thinking <laughs> we could maybe do the reg 
off that bolt right there, put a fitting on it and just hard line it in. And then uh, we can run a piece of liner here and we can have a filter or also our gauge. Um, I don't know. We got, hey, we got options now. But we got that done, so cool. Or we still got to zip tie it in, but we've got it all ran and everything, so. Got a little bit of lightage. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You tell Johnny Tran to come get some. There we go. All right. Now we got to finish some other crap. Yeah, that gauge is cracked the face of it but you know and yes the regulator's not mounted we'll just like zip tie it to that bracket that'll 100 percent be fine i mean 100 percent. we don't need to run like i say we don't need to run no doghouse in here it, chill out we got line hooked up we don't have the carburetor bolt down you know we're going to get our uh throttle stuff and and uh hopefully you know all that'll work out i was just wanting to go ahead and see that get that so we'll probably like i say maybe do the we gotta put the uh <clears throat> bracket deal on so we'll probably do that with the carb off so i just wanted to set it on here and see how it all looked so and it looks amazing well that's going to do it for this episode of living in a drag van down by the river so uh we spent a lot of time walking around looking for parts, uh, stuff like that. We had to, I don't know how much time we spent. We had to uh, go find a ringlet, uh, electrical ringlet for the ground. We had to find a, a reducer uh, for the fuel pressure gauge and the regulator. That takes a lot of time walking around here looking for stuff. Not here, like the whole place, looking for stuff. Um, it's not just laying around. We got to hunt for it. Got lucky, found one reducer that would work. One that was just sitting by itself. Um, so we still got to zip tie the fuel line. We got to secure it. Um, we still got to, uh, run the power wire. Um, we still got to do the relay for the fan. We're getting closer though. I mean, I know we're, you know, we're making a bunch of videos and we're not, you know, doing burnouts in them and, and all this other stuff, but that's coming. That's coming. We got to get it running first. Hopefully it fires up and everything runs good. I'm hoping that in the next video, we'll get to fire it off. Cause we still don't know if our throttle cable's actually gonna work, if it's gonna be the right length, you know, where it'll open it all the way. That's been something of an issue with some of the EFI to carbureted cars for me. I've had to buy different throttle cables. So I may have to buy another throttle cable. I mean, I don't know. So, we'll, but we'll know soon enough. Um, I'm assuming I'd be able to have enough throttle to a burnout. So, you know, and we've done some burnouts in a drag van in the past. So, uh, get that done. We're getting closer, that's all I'm saying. Be patient with me um but anyway that's gonna do it thanks for commenting thanks for uh <coughs> thanks for subscribing thanks for all the ways you guys support the channel we couldn't do it without you and we wouldn't do it without you that's my promise from me to you you that you guys but especially thanks for watching and until next time on the substandard leader and fox body videos on this here man's youtube one year only twin turbo lincoln town cars or drag bands, proud owner proprietor, VIP member of Club Big Boost, and is always fighting the good fight against zombie Mustangs and that rascal Dr. Fear. We'll see you guys in the next video.